friend of mine worked in the construction industry, building and you know electrical, and um, he gave me some copper wires, like a lot of copper wires. And I've seen this going around about you know using copper as a source of a conductor. I, I actually wear my copper bracelet on my hand just to help normalize my blood balance my blood and just to keep you know pain and everything under control and it helps me so much to be grounded so i always wear my copper bracelet i want the plants to do really well so i'm going to try this method of earthing and I'm, I'm going to construct these on a piece of wood today and place them in my garden bed. Let me just show you one that I've done so far. This is the copper one I did. It was just loosely in the middle of the, the bed. And I had this in around two, three days ago. And let me just show you what's going on. Seedlings are popping through. They're popping through. seedlings are popping through which is amazing because this is helping them to come through there you got little seeds and i'm really 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 chuffed of this method so i'm gonna continue using it and i was watching a video the other day and she said um her copper wire i am actually it it spreads out to around three feet so the plants near to this bed will benefit from you know the earthing and I totally believe in this because the copper is more of a ground um wire it's brown like the ground and it's it's a good conductor for energy for pull it from the you know the atmosphere so I believe in this totally so this is my first week of using grounding so this is three days into grounding today is the 22nd so I started the the 19th, around the 19th, 18th of May. So I wanted to show you the progress of what's going on at the moment, all right? This is my son, that's Jaiman's Delight, Garden Delight. This is his bed. And he planted a lot of stuff in here. And I just started using this three days ago. All right, let's get back over here. So I've got that bed to put the copper in, this one and this one and those as well so if i can put two or three coppers over here then then it will work really nice and over there as well i want it so i'm gonna start making my copper wire i'm gonna be getting some wood so i need to go and get some little twigs to wrap them around so i'll come back in a minute so i've got my twigs and i'm gonna start wrapping all of these copper wires on it and i've got some that branches off so i can probably do some designs on here as well with the twig um and this one as well i've got some branches off so i can do some design with that one as well but definitely i'm gonna make this looking nice and effective for the garden so i've lined out my copper and my sticks so i'm gonna put this one on this bamboo one it's got a bit of length to it but i don't mind so i'm gonna wrap it around clockwise and then this one as well it's gonna have another one wrapped around and then this one is like a three like a fork so i'm going to be using two wires on this one and then this one so i'm gonna want to let it run up i want it to be you know three up in the air yeah so that's two for that one and this one it's gonna have the copper wrapped around it so i carefully put the two way spinach and then this one is another one with another fork but it don't matter with this one i'm just gonna wrap it around and then the other one here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six that I'm going to be working on today. So I really need to get a system where I can set these up and I can show you how I do it. But it don't matter. You'll see how it's done and you can do it your way. I'm just introducing this to my garden because I see it's working in JD's um, delight, garden delight bed. <laughs> so I'm going to try it out. I've done it. <laughs> I've got six 
copper rods here waiting for my garden. So this one is a clockwise time right down. So I'm going to make sure this is inserted into the ground while that one is pointing upwards to the element. And the same one for this, back up. And then that's going to be touching the ground because that's going to work. That's going to get all the energy into the ground. It's going to put all the energy in this one. It goes down to there. And then it starts getting a bit like, you know, a bit of a pattern, like a weave. I want energy to be, you know, coming down, wrapped down. And then it goes into the ground there. But I kind of connected all the little, you know, branches with the copper. So I could get the elements of the copper and also the wood, natural wood. And then it could bring all the energy into the ground. And then this one, this is the one I was saying to you. I wanted it to have like a three system going, but I could only get two out of it. So the two is going to be up to the sky. And then it's going to wrap around this branch here. And it's going to come all the way down to the bottom. And I connected that piece with the other copper. So the energy could still, you know, transmute to the ground. Yeah, I like this one. And then this one, which is just the normal twine. And it goes down into the ground. So I'm going to put this one actually. No, I'm not going to put one that one there. I'm going to put this one here. Somewhere in here. Or in here that it can touch. Yeah, because I can bury it deep down. Perfect. So this one goes there. All right. And then this one. I want this one into this bed because it, it, it sends off three feet. I'm going to put it right into the, the, the um, onion. All right. That's it. I'm going to put it right there. You can see. Both wires I get in. Good job. And then this one, I'm going to place in the center of this raised bed. I'm going to push him down, make sure he can get down. Yeah. As long as it's touching the soil, that's it. That one's gonna be in there, the center of that. And it can radiate this side and this side. And then I'm gonna put one in here, which is the lemon balm and comfort bed. So I've changed it. I put the bamboo one in here because I think it went straight down to the soil. Yeah. this oops protector off i actually thought it would look better if it was shorter because i have to put back the net over so i'm just gonna place him in here like so so something's eating out my pop choy oh, sugar bites. that's nice lemon balm as well all right that one's gone. Shit. Something's eating them out here, you see. And this one's a bit. So, hopefully, when this comes here, they'll just leave my things alone. You get me? Right. So, that one half one. <coughs> this one half one. Okay. The nursery's looking good. Look at them. Lovely. Perfect. Alright, so I've got one there as well. Then this one over here. I'm just putting 
like to this one like so oh god my hand just touched the nuts there okay my hand just touched the nuts but i'm fine uh -huh. i guess it don't work for everybody but yeah There you go. She's falling. Uh oh, I shouldn't have touched her. Bye-bye.